Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One in my old barn door. And I just came to show you, <clears throat> excuse me, a journal kit that I'm gonna be putting in my shop. Um, these journals I have had partially finished since last year. And um, I started doing the covers and putting them together. And then I just kind of got sidetracked and um, stopped. And they've been sitting in a little tub um, on my top shelf for a year. So I thought I would pull them down and finish them so that I can get them out to you guys and make a little room on my shelf. So these are naked journals. Um, they are filled with beautiful vintage pages. And um, so we're just, I'm just gonna show you each one real quick and then I'll show you what's inside and it's gonna be like a little kit for you to make a complete journal out of. Okay, so I've cleared them all off of my desk. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see just a little better. I'm gonna do a quick flip through of them real quick. So this one we'll call, um, the Summer Collage Journal. And I'm gonna write these down so I'll know how to put them in the listing. Um, once you see this video, um, they will be in my Etsy shop, but I still need to do the pictures and the listings and all of that. So we're going to call this one the Summer Collage. So in each kit, you're going to get a single signature journal, and it's just basically going to be a naked journal. Now, these journals are not perfect, and what I mean by that is um, I left them as naked as possible so that you can decorate them the way that you want to. So you're gonna to wanna to put something on the spine, you know, because if you see right here, it's cracking on the spine, but I always put something on the spine, you know, over the paper so that you don't have that problem. Um, but I didn't, I was gonna put this stuff on the spine, but then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna leave it all open so that they can do whatever they want to do with it. So um, in the journal, you get um, just a bunch, I think, let's see, I don't know how many pages are in each. It's, you know, somewhere around 40 pages in each journal, okay? So it's a single signature journal. You just get um, a different variety of pages in each one. I'm gonna do a quick flip through of each journal. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking. I'm just gonna do a whole lot of flipping so that we have time to get through all eight of the journals. Um, but you can kind of see they're, you know, they're very blank, very plain, um, hence the word naked journal. So um, that's the whole one side of the signature. So everything that else that's in here is basically the same. Blank on the back so you can put in your pockets or whatever you wanna do. And then I had some of my spring embellishment kits left over. So I'm going to add that as part of the kit. So I'm not gonna pull everything out of here for time's sake because I've already done that on a different video and I'll link that video in the comment section below so that if you don't know what's in this, you can go back and check that video um, so you can see all of the goodness that you get in these little kits. Um, I just, I had several of them left over and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to combine it with this journal, make it a little kit, get things moved out so that I have room to make more stuff for you guys. And then the last item in the kit is gonna be this little baggie. And inside the baggie, you're gonna get six different types of fabric to make little tabs in your book. And then you'll each get, um, each kit will get three pieces of my journal jewelry that I just showed you guys how I make. So that is what is going to be in the kit. So um, I'm not gonna show you each kit because you know you can see them in the other video, um, but I will do a quick flip through of each book. Now this book measures, uh, it's about seven and a quarter tall by five and a quarter wide. So that is a summer collage. And then this one, what will we call this one? Um, okay, well, I'm drawing a blank. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to call this one the Little Girl Book. Just simply because I'm not, uh, my mojo is not there today as far as creativity. So, <laughs> so this is the front cover. This is the spine. And as you can see, some of the, um, the dictionary page rubbed off. So, again, I left it so that you can put some kind of fabric or lace or whatever you want to put on there to decorate the spine. That is the back. And I, this one, these two are just collaged. Um, this one measures about seven and a half inches tall by about five and a quarter inches wide. So, again, you have your um, spring kit that goes with it. Sweet, sweet papers in this journal. I absolutely love this little journal. So I'm just going to flip through real quick. So you can, I'm just going to flip through like the first side of the signature so that you can see what kinds of papers that you're getting in each little book. Um, and we won't flip through, you know, all of the ones that are in the back of the signature because they're just going to be the same as this. So there's that one. The back is blank as well. So that one we will call Little Girl. That's how you'll find it in the shop. And um, the next one will be, we'll call this one Lady. Um, just simply because there's a lady on the front. So that's how you'll find it in the shop. If you open it up inside, it has the purple. And, and then this one has a lot more of the little vintage book pages um, it's got a variety of um, you know like children's book pages cookbook pages floral pages um, some of my fairy pages some dictionary pages I love that Edith Holden some bird pages children's book pages so it's just kind of a variety of vintage pages in this little journal so stinking cute. More um, recipe, and then this is a children's dictionary page. And this is actually, um, it was the front cover of, uh, like, you know, the front leaf of a book. So that's what's in that one. Um, and this little bookmark came with this book, so I'm just leaving it in there so you'll get that in the kit too. Um, the next one we will call Solid Chenille Cover. I'm probably going to have to put this on the inside of it. So I just kind of covered the whole cover with chenille. Um, I wanted some fabric, um, some fabric in the journals. So, and, and I pulled a drawer open and there was my chenille and I was like, perfect. So I used that. So if you open it up, you've got your kit, and then this one just kind of has a random mix of craft pa or scrapbooking paper. Um, this is some of that um, that I got from Christy Biddleston's little girl. She um, dyed these pages. Super cute little pages in this journal, and give me just a second, and I'll give you some measurements um, for the journal. So again, just blank. Everything is just blank and it's kind of wide open for you to decorate it and embellishment, embellish it however you want to. And then that's the back cover. And let me get you a measurement on this one. This one measures eight inches long or tall by five inches wide, maybe a little over five inches wide. So this one will be called a solid chenille and that's how you'll find it in the shop. Um, the next one will be this collage one. So we'll call it a floral collage. And that way that's how you'll be able to find that one in the shop. That's the spine and then that's the back of it. There's your kit. And I've just worked on these this morning, so you can tell they're still kind of a little crackly where they're getting used to their binding. Um, so you have children's dictionary pages. You have some plain pages in here. I wanted these to be, you know, if you wanted to keep it as a writing journal, then these are perfect 
um, to keep as a writing journal. Um, but I also wanted it to be to where you could decorate it and embellishment all you want to and have plenty of room in the journal to be able to do that if that's what you decided to do um, with the journal. So that is the, the pages that are in there. There's the back of it, just plain or blank or naked, however you want to call it. Let me get you a measurement on this one. This one is um, about eight and three quarters inch tall by about five and a half inches wide. So this one is floral collage. The next one, um, I love, love, love this one because it is like a blank page, which leaves the option open for you to decorate it with fabric. You can decorate it with paper. You can do collage on it. It's pretty much whatever you want to do on it. So when you open it up inside, it just has the plain front, and then we'll just flip through the pages. Of course, you've got your spring embellishment kit to go with it. This is a mix of lined pages, um, vintage pages, children's book pages, scrapbook pages, all kinds of different pages in this one. This is like a watercolor paper. Have some florals. I love the yellow. And then, of course, one of my favorite little children's books about zinnias. So that is the front and back of that one. We'll call this one, um, we're just going to call this one the Green Journal. And let me get you some measurements on it. It measures um, about seven and a half inches tall by five and a half inches wide. So these are great little single signature journals, as you can see, um, to play with. You can make them your practice journal or whatever you want to do with them. So I have two more. Let me see where we're at on our, oh, we're not doing too bad on our time. Okay, this one I left plain as well um, in case someone wanted to use it as a prayer journal because it has you know, the little fish symbol on there, or you can decorate it however you want to. So I just kind of left it up to you. So there's your kit, and there's the inside cover, and then you have, uh, I love the chickens, all kinds of different children's book pages, vintage, um, this was a Helen Steiner Rice book, I think. You have birds, just vintage book pages. There's some more children's book pages music florals this has like a variety a different whole different variety love this page with the florals this was a really really old cookbook and um i loved that it said good eating in the 40s so this is what they cooked in the 40s we have a dick and jane page in here um, children's dictionary page quilting page my book house page music so this one has a good little variety in it too. And there's the back cover. There's the back of the journal. Um, I guess it needs to be wiped down from where I've set it on my desk where I had gesso and stuff, so I'll wipe it down. But um, this one we'll call um, the fish journal. No, we're gonna call it the black journal <laughs> because I don't want people who see it to think, oh, it's about fish because that's not what it is. So we'll call this one the black journal. And then the very last one is a chenille collage journal. So I'm just going to call it chenille collage. And I'll have to put this in the front too. So this is your front and side cover. Um, did I measure? I don't know if I gave you a measurement on the black journal. Let me give you a measurement on the black journal. It is about eight and a half tall by five and a quarter wide. And then this one, the Chanel Collage Journal, is about eight and a quarter tall by about five and three quarters wide. Okay, and so I just did like a Chanel Collage, just um, little scraps of Chanel. And then on the spine, I had some of this um, 
the Tim Holtz collage paper and so I put that on the spine and then you of course can come back and put um, you know lace or fabric or quilt or whatever you want to put on the spine but this is the back of the cover and so we'll just go inside and do a quick flip through of this one and this one again has a variety of scrapbook paper um, different kinds of book pages, children's book pages. I love that one with the little farm animals. Um, vintage book pages. That's another one of the Helen Steiner Rice. Um, vintage, I think. This is from a childcraft book. And this is from a Mother Goose book. Scrapbook paper. Um, cake decorating ideas this is a floral book page music i think this is from a reminisce book more children's book page florals helen steiner rice um, quilt, i think this is from a quilting book children's dictionary um, and then recipe book pages and then that is the back cover of that one. On some of the journals, I left these long enough to where you can put, you know, you can put a dangle on them. Um, or if you don't want a dangle on them, just cut them off. But I wanted to give you the option to be able to do that as well. So each one will be listed in my shop as um, the name that I have given it. But I just kind of wanted to do a quick flip through and show you what I have for you. Now, I will say this. Um, my sp everybody who's been to my shop, you know, my spring kits alone are $13.99. Um, but I'm going to do a really good deal for you guys for today only. And these kits will be $20. So you're, um, you're getting a whole journal for only like $6 more than what you would have originally gotten the spring kit for. So it's a really good deal because you not only get the spring kit um, with the journal, but you also get your little package of ju um, junk journal jewelry with your um, tab pieces of fabric. So if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Um, don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. You can also hit the little notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks for watching and you guys have a great day. Big hugs.